Hello all. Today I'm going to show you how to make a reindeer out of logs. This is the first time I've, I've done this, so uh, this would be, I guess, a learning experience for me too. It shouldn't be too hard though, just cutting a bunch of logs up, drilling some holes, and slapping them together with some glue. Uh, I'm also going to use a nail gun, nail brad gun, to kind of hold things together a little bit, just kind of you know, get the process a little bit faster. <clears throat> but uh, I do normally use a chainsaw to do something like that. But today I'm gonna use this uh, uh, Ryobi hand saw. Uh, hand held, one hand held, one hand reciprocating saw. And it says it comes with uh, one blade. It's brushless. And uh, I'm curious to see what kind of power this thing's got. I'm a fan of right over here lately. But the prices and the tools are pretty good. I did buy pick up another blade just in case that's not adequate. <clears throat> All right, pretty heavy. I say it's about as heavy as my DeWalt reciprocate, two-handed reciprocating saw. That's all right. Let's see, blade out. Usually uh, upload a video every Saturday or Sunday, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this one before Christmas, just in case someone's in, interested. They click on the many videos of making these things. I'll be just one of many, I guess. But I am going to do it with this. If I can get oh, there, we go. You gotta really pull on that. I mean, really pull on it. There we go. All right. All right. So I'm gonna set up logs. I'm gonna go get me a couple batteries and my nail gun, and uh, be back in a moment. All right. I got my log in here, and uh, this is the size I'm gonna be doing for the body. I'm gonna do it first. I'm gonna get my pieces all set up and then I'm gonna take everything to the workbench and start drilling the holes. All right. Well, blade that came with it isn't gonna work. So I did pick up this uh, Diablo wood carbide teeth. That ought to get the job done. All right. We're gonna get that out of the package. I mentioned before I haven't haven't done one of these before. Looks pretty simple. Alright, get this one out. Diablo in. Alright. Let's see. Actually I'm gonna trim this up on the end here. Be a good little a good way to try this out. Well, that's taking just a little bit too long. <laughs> uh, all right, let me, uh, let me go get something that's a little faster. All right.
So I've got a smaller log for the head. It's about little, little less than half the size of the body. So got this back out. I'm gonna do a little trimming. I already did one piece. Pretty good. I guess I don't need to go that far back, but I do want this. All right. So I'm going to take about about six inches. And that will be the head right there. All right, I got the piece I'm gonna use for the legs and the piece I'm gonna use for the ears and the tail. So I'm gonna use the cedar part for the legs and this white, uh, I have no idea what, which little tree this is at all, but I know it's white and the white's gonna stand out against the cedar a little bit for the tail and the ears. So, I'm gonna see. <clears throat> First, I'm going to uh, use the neck portion, which is going to be about six inches. Trim that up a bit. About six inches for the neck. There we go. Perfect size. And now I'm gonna uh, trim this up a little bit. I think I'm gonna get some gloves on real quick. Remember to always wear your gloves. Here we go. And for the legs, assume about 10 inches would be good. Yeah, I say 10 inches would be just fine. So, so that's right about there. I'm going to swap that little bitty blade. <laughs> there we go. All right. It's my four pieces for the legs. Now we're going to do the tail and the ears. I'm going to start off putting it at an angle. That way, it uh, looked it it'll look like ears and a tail. Just uh, chop a little piece off. It's one ear. Now for the tail. Tail a little bit bigger than the ears. 
All right, I'm trying to figure out where where I'm going to start at. So I'll start by putting it in the vise. side I want to start on. I guess I'll do the more of the flat side. Yeah. Might be a little bit better for the feet or the legs and the uh, neck and stuff. Let's get that in there. There we go. <clears throat> All right. So I've got my bits. I've got my drill. And let's see, the neck is the short one. So I'm just going to stick that in there just like that. So I'm going to match my bit up with the size of my neck. I'm going to get a little bit bigger. That ought to do it. Not going for perfection here. I'm just trying to make a reindeer put out on my front porch for Christmas. So I'm just going to put that right there in the center. And back down. Now I'm going to put a little bit of wood glue in this. Eh, just take the lid off. It's been sitting for a while. Alright. There we go. Yeah. That'll do it. Okay. Shove that down in there like that. But what else I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a, one of these brads in it. It's kind of like steady it up a little bit till the glue takes effect. Uh, the leg should be about the same size, from the same. So I'm just eyeballing this. Let's see. All right, that should be good, pretty good. And right over here ought to do it. Alright. Head on to the back side. So I'm just eyeballing it. Might not come out at all. This back's a little funny. Yeah, it works out. Holes. The front legs got the back legs. Now we're gonna put a little glue in there. The junk out of my glue ball. Alright. Glue. A little bit of glue. If y'all can see that. Turn it over. That's all right though. Should be enough to hold it in. I'm gonna use brads too. Just make sure you turn it over and get the shavings out. Don't do what I did. Really, I'm just trying to see how fast I can do this. There we go. There 
go. Alright. A little loose, but not too bad. I need to put a little hole in the head here. All right, that's the neck. Let's see, put a screw right down the center of those. There you go, that's the head. And, and if you want, you can chop off a little angle. You know, that might work. I'm gonna put a little fuzzball on, on the tip here and I'm gonna put two eyes on it. That's the ears. Ah, can't forget about the antlers. Ah. So, where are the antlers gonna go? I might have put them just a little too far back. Let's go ahead and pull them back out. Just gotta play with it till you get it. There we go. Now for the antlers. There we go. Got the antlers. Ooh, some big antlers. All right, let's see. This right here should do it. nail in there get it to hold there we go yeah <laughs> all right let's see put this in here like this on top and we should be able to just load this up with glue. There we go. Just like that. Might have a little glue run off. That's all right. And take this. There we go. Ah, take the nailer. Glue takes a hold. It'll uh, strengthen it right up. Now all we got left is the tail. Put a screw to the center of that. Put the 
screwed. <laughs> No. <laughs> All right. There you have it. Oh, dang it, didn't see the head. Well, there's your deer. Put some eyes on that sucker. Put your little fuzz nose on it. Yeah, the camera's at a bad angle to get to the head. But it's glued. It's got a couple of little nails in it right there. And uh, they came together pretty quick, actually. But yeah, you can make four or five of these, put them out front. Yep, simple little project to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video.